Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, everyone's favorite space colony management game. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, we are going to be working more on our little power project that we have over here. But as I unpause the save file, I kind of realized <laughs> that we, again, don't have any algae. So I guess let's take a look at that. Um, and who peed over here? What is going on here? Who, who peed? Who peed on the floor? <laughs> if this was... <laughs> oh man, all right. Well, I can see what today is gonna be like. This is a, a good time. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and find some resources here so that these guys don't end up suffocating to death before we can get our cooling system for the O2 online. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Maybe we should run over here and grab some of this, or we could dig up here and grab some of this, actually. I'm not sure what is easy. We have to build all this anyway, so maybe we could power through that, or... Yeah, let's just do this. This is the path of least resistance. We'll get them up here. We'll have them dig it out, and... Yeah, actually, I'm okay with this. This is fine. So let's make sure that they, they do this right away because this is kind of important. Meanwhile, let's take a look see what we got going on here. So, a little side note. When we finished this save file after stream the other day, I was closing it down and I realized that we made a fatal mistake here. And the fatal mistake was is that our floors were not in alignment with the floors inside the base. I know that sounds petty, uh, but the OCD is strong with this one. So as a result, I uh, redid all of this outside of our playthrough. And then that way, everything is pretty much back to where we were. I think there's a few things that aren't built anymore or whatever. But uh, at least everything now is in alignment so that from a horizontal line rule, everything is nice and even. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, the things we do. The things we do for straight lines around here. You know, it's a struggle is real. Also, speaking of straight lines, let's do this. And, and we'll just lower the floor in here. You know, that'll keep the room nice and tidy. And then uh, we still have a straight line all the way across. Because if, if we actually like to take this out and a couple of other these bips and bobs here, maybe, not, well, maybe we aren't going to take this out. Because I, I don't want to mess with this if I don't have to. Anyways, oh, all right, well, let's let them do their thing. We'll get this all swept up. And on a related note, I wonder, maybe I should just put like a storage bin over here and stick this underwater. Well, we'll I'm going to put slime under here if we have extra slime. Maybe I shouldn't put it there. Maybe we should stick it out here somewhere. Should we just store it next to the, the actual distillers? That might be a wise idea. You know, we can just build like a little water pit right here. With a little bit of, little bit of water in it. And we'll make it too tall just because we can. Okay, that looks all fancy fancy. And we'll just spill some water in there to try to keep the, um, the slime from off gassing, you know? And then that way, any other stuff that we dig up, you know, like they can just they can just tuck it in here, and it's not a nuisance in the rest of the world. All right, sweet, cool. Yeah, we'll let them do that. That seems like a good idea. All right, great. Um, all right, so we have this tile put in up here. We got this corner tile put in, and we'll go ahead and let them finish building the rest of this insulation in here. I, I strongly suspect that we're going to end up with water down here, so I don't think I'm going to build anything down here. Maybe like a pump or something, because it's probably going to spill over and fall in. We can prevent that. And then we also, last stream, or uh, last last episode, we went ahead and we started putting in a cooling system for this oxygen, which is getting a little toasty. And it looks like it's been completed. So, that's great. Let's go ahead and start putting some liquid up in there. So we're going to put polluted water inside of this. And an auto bottle. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start filling this thing up. Do we have, we do have some polluted water. Do we have like a pump or something in polluted water? This is already negative 11. That's super handy. I don't think we do. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and stick one over here. We'll capitalize on this already cold polluted water. 
We'll just stick it in here. And then we can, uh, we can pump this stuff out of here. Ooh, sleet wheat. That's exciting. All right, well, cool. Let's let them do this stuff. We're just, we're not gonna bring anybody new into the base quite yet. We're super close though. We're super close. We're gonna keep holding off for just a moment or two while they, um, while they start putting all this in and then we're gonna try to get this all done over here today. So, but let's get, let's start getting this filled up in the background today. So hopefully by the end of today's episode, this should be starting to get cooled off and we're gonna see like how this is going to work up here. And then, um, and then we'll also get this configured for slime, right? And we're gonna add some water to this here in a little bit. So that's fine. And cool. Yeah, this is great. I'm really excited about this. This seems like a, a nice good start, good old fashioned start. And I like it. Uh, cool. Well, I'm tempted to just start strong arming these guys into getting stuff done around here. Oh good, so they're starting, they're starting to put some polluted water in here. <laughs> I'm also really tempted to just, should we just pump, should we just do it like this? Here, what? <laughs> how about, how about we just, how about we not do that? Oh. How about, let's, let's do this instead. Here, let's just run a pipe. I think we can reach this. I think I think we can reach all this here. Let's just put a pipe in here. We might not be able to reach this one I'm gonna put a ladder here just in case and then we're not waiting around just in case I can't reach it We'll go ahead and um, put this pipe in and we'll just pump this stuff up here We might risk getting some normal water in here though That is one downside to this approach But it doesn't look like this water has moved at all Otherwise if it had ever come through these tanks, we would see it in the list so even if it was zero tons. So we'll, we'll see if we can't get that up. How much is in here, by the way, anyway? We're basically backlogged by the tanks. Yeah, we might need to keep an eye on this. If water ends up in this pipe, what we'll do is we'll, we'll check a filter on it and filter it out. It's gonna freeze otherwise, right? So. Okay, here we go. Looking good. So this should start cooling this down. It already is, wonderful. And then something else that I was thinking about doing is that I'm gonna put in some granite temp, temp shift plates. We just, we want it to help cool, right? Uh, but we also want to try to retain that temperature if we can. Real quick, can I put, I can put temp shift plate, okay, yeah. Cool, so what we'll do is, we'll start small, we'll just put in, Oops. Well, I guess we'll have extra ones there. We'll have some there. It's fine. And then... Sure, why not? Why not? We'll have the whole, the whole hallway down here at the bottom all ready to go. Ah! You know what? <laughs> let it... Let it... Let it be free. Just put them all in here. You know? This is super overkill. But actually, I'm not putting it for the purposes of the temp plate. I'm actually putting it in here as a background building that gives it a lot more mass. So, a temp plate, I think, is, uh, yeah, eight, is it 800 kilograms? That seems high. But anyways, we'll get that put in there. It's super low priority, so when they get around to it, they can do that. How's this looking over here? Can we, can we chuck the slime in here? We want, first off, let's get some more water put in here. So we'll get some water brought over, and then this is gonna be organic slime. Okay, so this is where we're gonna put all of our slime. Let's make sure that, uh, yeah, we don't care if it's sweep only or not. Let's just make sure that they're putting it, picking it up, getting it in here. It'll also cut down on the running around once they, once they have stuff. If they ever need to like fill up the algae distiller. All right, sweet. Uh, and then this is all looking good. Yeah, look at this. Holy cow, this is this is wonderful. All right, so this has cooled us down. We're already down below 28 degrees. We'll have to keep an eye on what happens up here. See, look, we're already adding quite a bit of heat, aren't we? All right, so this is probably gonna warm this whole area up pretty quick. What I might do is I'm gonna stick 
a temperature plate along these walls here and we'll we'll pull some of that temperature out of the mass here out of the side walls so it'll pull some of the the cold out of these walls here this is probably going to heat up pretty quick though but hey you know what it'll hold us over for a little while we really need to get started on um, some drecos at some point maybe we'll do that after we get the power sorted out okay cool is this full yet that's a better question are we full we're pretty close we have hmm. we are filling the gaps here we'll just have to see but we'll fill we'll fill all the gaps and then we'll uh we'll disconnect this from the the polluted water vent down here that's looking really good so yeah so this is just a holdover this might actually hold us off for a little bit, guys. Look at this, it's already down to, it's bringing it down to 22 degrees. All right, well, this I'm assuming is going to warm up fairly quick, but we, we can probably use it for a little while. At least it's not super hot in here, right? Like there's some heat and stuff going on, but we'll uh, get these temp shift plates in here to help hold, maintain the temperature. And they can put all that in. This is great. And we don't need this ladder. Get this out of here. All right, wonderful. Uh, anything else? Let's see here. O2 looks good in the base. Splendid. All right, yeah, we'll have these guys start working on this. They can start putting this all in here, and we we you know we should also think about trying to get this out of in here. All the CO2. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking. All right, so we're going to right while we're waiting here. Should we just take advantage of the fact that this is here? I thank you for in the comments for suggesting that I just kind of leverage the same techniques as infinite storages and uh, tuck the vent in here to kind of like force this thing to output the CO2. And then we can run this pump in here and try to get all this CO2 taken out of here. The only thing I would really want to do then is switch this and put in an atmos sensor. Because like the, the pressure down here is 400 degrees. I suppose we could just let it run and say, you know, like, don't not worry about it. Just let it go. Um, but it's gonna be kind of power inefficient, right? So I'm gonna swap this out. We're gonna go ahead and put in an Atmo sensor instead of a power switch. And then hopefully this will work. If not, what we'll do is I will put up uh, like an airflow tiler or something here to hold this water here while this empties out and then we'll, we'll take it apart. That seems good. Okay. Our hard at work here. We have a lot of plates that we need to put in here, but hopefully, look at this. This cooled down actually quite nicely. Check this out. Oh, look at that. That's actually working perfectly. All right, great, man. This is uh, this will hold us over for a little while. Maybe we can get the uh, metal refinery and the aqua tuners put in. If we can get some plastic and whatnot. All right, sweet. Um, well, this is quite a build job here. We'll go ahead and let them finish this. Everybody is working on it. It takes so long to put in temperature plates, but it's worth it at the end of the day. And they're all going to be really, these duplicates are going to be super unhappy because they're going to have popped eardrums being in here. What's the air pressure up here? This is 2,600, 3,500. Maybe we'll just turn this off for a little bit. Here. Here, let's turn this off. And maybe we won't have super cranky dupes from, <laughs> from pop beer drums. Sorry guys, we're, sorry we're making you do this work. We love, <laughs> we love and appreciate you. All right, well, that's cool. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, see, now we're now we're cooking. Thank you so much, chat, for reminding me about this. I don't, honestly, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but hey, you know what? It is what it is, right? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just do something like that, and let's take this out. 
real quick. It's 100 grams of CO2 down here. So hopefully we can get this uh, CO2 to fall. That would be really ideal. And actually like some of this we can help out. Take this out. I don't remember why we built this, but we built it for some reason. And yeah, all the rest of this can go. I'm going to leave this here, this temporary O2 system for a little bit. I just want to leave it here and keep, hold on to it in the event that we need to turn this off for a little while. I don't ever foresee that happening, but you know, you never know. All right, this is wonderful. Look at this, guys. We have a we're holding around 18, 19 degrees Celsius. This is perfect. This is right about the temperature we want our oxygen. Although we're not adding heat right now. And that is one thing to point out because we've since turned off the, the electrolyzer. But you know what? That's cool. It'll give us a chance to get all this material in here. And get all this built. Uh, hopefully we can hold this temperature. And then I think... I think I might risk opening this up to, to the base gang. I think we might risk it. We'll see how it goes. We have like food rotting, but yeah, that's fine. We have food. We have we have food. We have oxygen. We have water. We have, you know, wh what more can we say? Life is good right now. Um, I guess they would be exhaling right here. They might let a little CO2 into the atmosphere. That is one thing. One thing that isn't, I guess, the, the best. But hey, you know what? If all these guys can come in here and just smash out all this stuff, we can let Ace Cow keep on farming over here, I guess. Great. Great, great, great. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's see if we can't get this power, like this chunk of power put in. So maybe what I'll do is instead of this being a nine, because, you know, nines, they're subjective. Um, what we'll do is we'll downgrade this. We'll let them, we'll just let them put this in like when they have time, you know, we'll let the builders do this. I'll set equal to farming that way. If there's nothing left to do. And let's see if we can't get this all done over here. So what we want to do is we want to get the minimally. We want to get the smart batteries put in. We want to get the coal generators put in. We're going to want to hook this up to the transformers as well. So let's get a couple of transformers hooked up, but we'll hook the power for all these generators into the main power network. And then we're going to run transformers off the side of that. And then we can start thinking about bringing this power into the base and then really separating it out. Like this one, for example, this look, this is almost a two kilowatt line. Two, well, let's be honest here. This is, this really isn't two kilowatts worth of stuff, but we're not really using half of it anyway. We're not cooking anything. We're not, yeah, like, <laughs> we're not cooking anything. We're not doing anything else, but that's okay though. We can upgrade this power line and bring this right through here. So what would this be? If we were going to put this one in, because this is the atmosphere, since it's kind of, kind of a critical piece of equipment at the moment. We would need some tile. It's this floor, right? Yeah. We need some tiles here. Oh, that's going to run right. <laughs> God dang it. It's going to run right into this natural ge gas generator or um, geyser. Well, that's its own animal. So if we we're just in a seal this thing off for, for funsies, what would that look like? Maybe something like that. Uh, this is a 150 degrees Celsius, so we're going to need a heftier pump if we're going to take care of this thing, which we do not have. Wolframite is only an overheat temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. Gold, 75. Overheat plus 50, so 75. This is 125. This isn't enough. This is just 75. Okay. All right, cool. Well, yeah, we'll let them build all this stuff. This is all looking really good, actually. We'll get our digger to come over here and like finish this off. And then hmm, what are we going to do about this? Should we just. I 
feel like this is off one. Am I going to move this ladder out? No, we're not going to move this ladder out. Here, you know what? Cancel. Oh, God. Um. Yeah, let's let's move this in just one tile. I think I think it should be okay to do that. And then we'll have to take this other stuff out right here. But there we go. Yeah, we'll swap this out. I just want to bring it in a little bit, and then we're gonna run a wall right over here. So this can all go like so. Excellent. And then this can we'll need heavy watt wire here, here, and here. And then we're gonna run that down. Cancel. Cancel this right here, and then deconstruct these little guys. All right, so we're almost back to where we want to be. There we go, something like that. Something like that anyway. We'll get the first one done and we'll see how this all, this all comes together. That way we can leave the ladder here. There'll be a gap. We can put like a fire pole or something in there. Okay, great. Um, in other news, what else do we need? Yeah, I'm glad that they're putting this all in. I just want to keep an eyeball on this. Temperature is nice and stable. It's sitting at 19 degrees. Perfect. And then what we'll do is... I'm really tempted to open this door, gang, and get this out of here. Should we just let this run? Now let's let's have him hurry this up. Let's have him finish this real quick. Hold on, switch this around. Switch this around. I mean, we do need the power sol problem solved, but here, switch this around. We want them to focus on this. Get this done. I'm gonna turn this back on. We kind of have these set kind of funky, don't we? Because we're just trying to do this. So should we? Hmm. I'm gonna set this really low. Because we, we do need to run this electrolyzer up here. We're down to a thousand grams of pressure up here, so that, that's fine. They can come up here. They can breathe. We have all things cooling going on. This is wonderful. And then we'll just pay attention to like how this heat comes in, right? That's kind of like the big one. The other thing that we could have done is maybe put like an airflow tile right here. It would influence this air tile. Or sorry, we could put a temperature plate here so that it influences the gas coming out of here. It pretty much would instantly be the temperature we would want. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that later. We'll see how that goes. And we are bringing heat in here, by the way, with this granite, it looks like. like... But that's okay. The more we get in here, the better. It'll just, it'll maintain its own temperature at that point. Um, where did all this polluted water? Oh, so the water, it, this is actually working perfectly, right? So <laughs> we're, we're starting to hold the temperature in here and the, um, and the tank is filling up. This is exactly what we wanted. Nice. All right, cool. Well, our, looks like our loop is working as we expected. And we'll have a nice cold biome up there still. Perfect. All right, well, we'll let that work. This stuff is all getting done. And it looks like we have something in the printing pod. Let's see what we got. An operating supplying duplicate, a suit wearing doctoring du duplicate, and um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna take the plant. We'll start acquiring things for future projects so that we're that way we're all ready to go when that time comes. All right, sweet. Yeah, I think like if these temperature plates right in front of the, where the gas is coming out get put in, this won't be heating up so much right there. So we'll get that. All right, great. Man, that's a lot of work. I hate always putting it on 3x speed. I always feel that something bad happens when we do it. <laughs> like it's like, it's like Oh, some, there's an emergency. Yep, somebody's dead. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess this is what we're doing today. Didn't realize that this was going to take so long. I always forget how long temp temp temperature plates take to put in. Alright, sweet. Um, 
Well, hopefully they can get this all delivered and we'll get this all installed and then we can turn this on. We're going to open this up in the base and then we're not codependent on algae anymore. You know, we can just let, let this thing go. We'll see. We'll see how well this cold biome can keep us cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, what we also could do up here is insulate this so we're not bleeding this cold down into the uh, the lower area of the map here. This might actually influence us. Look at this. This is 15 degrees. This might come into the wall here, but we can uh, we can just insulate this off. We don't need to come back up here anymore, right? Look at how cold this is. This is amazing. Oh, man. Who needs cooling when you have a whole world that's cold? Look at this, too. This is all... Well, we might freeze things here. We'll see. <laughs> Jeez. All right, great. Well, everyone's taking snooze. That's nice. I get up and go to work. And then we'll see if we can't get this put in. I really want to get some of this coal power put in. I don't think it's going to happen. We'll see. These temperature plates are taking quite a bit of time here. But we're getting close. Get this all put in. Okay, so next on the list we have temperature plates. Cooling is put in. We're going to also... We need to finish power. And then I think maybe once we have power kind of sorted and we're working at least on pr primarily on coal, we can think about a couple of things like close the ceiling off the bottom of the base, because right now we're kind of open to the world. So we might be able to put the bottom of the base in. If we decide we're a good spot to put that. Um, kind of like this, for example. Like we'll bring this down. But anyways, we could trim off the bottom of the base, maybe like right here. I don't know if we really need to go much taller, right? That's like a pretty big base, to be honest. <laughs> like, like, that's a lot of space. Uh, but we've had bigger, I guess. And we've used it all. It depends on if we want to do kind of like independent rec rooms. You know, we got to keep the video game players away from the dancers. And the high-flying vertical wind tunnel people away from all the other people. All right, sweet. Well, this is about done. All right, I'm, I'm gonna slow this down again because this is a uh, this is a little too fast. Okay, and I think yeah, we just need to finish cooling down all this granite, and we're good. Okay, so let's sweep this all out of here. Get this out of here real quick. Sweep this out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually set these up and start running them. So, let's see here. Let's run this one at 2700. This one can be run at 2500 and then this bottom one will just set to, I don't know, 2000 maybe? Something like that. And if it's below, turn them on. All right, we'll see what the damage is. We'll see how bad this... <laughs> we'll see how long this takes to, like, be too too little or too much. And now we can start opening up the base. So I think for right now, I'm going to take this wall out right here. I'm just going to open the door. And for some reason, if we need to change this, so that way, um, you know... Like something happens and we need to seal this off for some reason, we can just close the doors on them. And then this can be taken out. We'll start replacing some of this up. These can be, I don't know, we'll, we'll just make these airflow tiles, I guess. Or should we keep these ones closed? Maybe we'll keep these ones closed for right now because there's all this polluted oxygen up here from the from it off gassing. Might be, might be a plan. Okay, look at this. Everything's starting to work. It's all flowing the way we expect. And we'll, we can run these for quite some time. And then we'll just start letting this pressurize the base. And then this can start pushing all the CO2 down here. Are we still stuck here? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. I was like, how long until this doesn't work anymore?
Well, that's a bummer. Here, you know what I'll do? We'll, um... I'll put this here. Into just to, like, trap, trap this little piece of water here, and we'll put another airflow tile right next to it. And then that way... The worst case scenario, the air... The gas will just bounce back and forth between the two things. Uh, but as soon as we open this door, this is all going to start pressurizing, right? Look at this. How amazing. How amazing is this going to be? All right, cool. So, hmm. I think what I'll do... I'm gonna close that off right there. We're just gonna force everything to go through the dining area, I think. So this can all get start pushing through the base. And then I don't know what to do about some of this other stuff. We'll have to we'll have to see how this goes. We're gonna move all this meal lice anyway. All this meal wood. We're gonna move it somewhere else at some point. So maybe now is a good time. We can move it up to the top here. We just get it out of the way. Or move it outside the base. Something like that. All right, we'll let this push in. And man, this is awesome. I'm really excited about this. This sure does make things a lot easier. The other thing we could do is we could just let it flow down through here. Like technically speaking, we have this airlock here, so we don't really need to, you know, micromanage this too much. But we can start opening up the map a little bit here. How about we do it right here? We'll put it right underneath these statues. That way it looks all nice and even and whatnot. And great. Great, great, great. All right. Well, we'll let that start flowing through here. It's already looking really good. It's going to take some time to, to work its way through the map. But as we provide more avenues, this will start, this will keep pushing right out here. Nice. Except for this pip. This pip is annoying. Screw this guy. All right, gang. Well, I think that's a good spot to stop for today. We will um, we will continue our journey into our power, I guess, next time. And we want to try to get the power network online. We'll try to get this coal generator out of the middle of the base that's down here adding CO2, which is not that big of a deal now that we've opened up our oxygen system. So that's nice. So we'll let that keep on running and trucking along here. How are we doing on this? This is all looking good. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, guys, um, that about wraps up things for this episode. A big shout out to all my subscribers and the people who donate to the channel the stream. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do this every day. So I really appreciate that. If you are enjoying the series, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of future videos. We'll be releasing new videos Monday through Friday until we reach the temporal tear. Cool. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>